I have this clock that I like that I've had for years that matches my table and chairs and so one of the batteries leaked in the back and caused corrosion and several times over the last few years I've had to replace it because um, I was never able to find exactly what I wanted but today the, I found this cuckoo clock it's uh, electronic brand new with the parts but it actually had this back to it that I wanted to use because I needed one that had a a magnetic swivel uh, at the base. So um, this was actually on here, and this one was on this. And so I was just going to show you how to undo them and replace them. So this one didn't have a cover over the hands. It just came with this little plastic cover. So basically the hands were on it like that. So you just pull off the hands carefully so you don't bend them. I actually had broken one repairing it. This was the one that was on mine. I had broken. So then you, there's a little tool that you can get or I just use my fingers to twist this off and it's the same on both both clocks. They kind of a t typical thing. So you take that off and you can get the, the piece off. Now, whichever one you're fixing, you want to do the same thing. So this was in this one and this was in this one. But now I'm going to replace them and put them on the other one. So I took this one off and put it over here. And this one was actually in like that. So it's a similar look. And that goes over here and then I'm this is the one I'm putting on the new clock. So, um, to get it out, it was glued in. I actually had to pull the front off first, um, and and then this was inside of it. So I pulled the whole thing off, and then um, this was, I just kind of carefully pulled that off, peeled off any of the hot glue that was holding it in. So then to get to the hands of it, to get, so you have to pull that off, and that was just glued in as well. Um, I peeled the hot glue off that. So that gives you the face plate, and we want 12 at the top. And then there's these little holders. Be careful when you're taking it out. You need to kind of pull them out a little bit to get the, the clock out. And that was on both of them. It does it the same way. So then to go back in, you would just do the side and push it in and snap it into place with those clamps that hold it in. And be careful not to pop those off. Okay. Then to hold it on, you're going to screw this on it and that will hold it under place so that's screwed on now the new hands because I had broken the old hands and sometimes these are not interchangeable the um, the sizes of these are are a little different you can see one's a little thinner than the other one so um, you have to use the same hands that came on it but the hands that came on it were white and I didn't want white because white on that darker background wouldn't look good. So I just took the Sharpie mitt uh, or this Sharpie. Her keys are right here. I'm videotaping. <laughs> Sorry. So um, anyway, then I just colored them with black and they will just work fine. So you would just screw that on and make it really tight and because I only have one hand I'm not going to actually do the whole thing and then you push this on once that's on and then the, so the hour hand then the minute hand and then the second hand actually I want to use the second hand from the old one because it's not red I want to use the black one so then I would put that on so much easier when you use your dominant hand okay then so I'm going to screw that in tightly and then I'm going to glue that on and then this has to this thing has to go in here like that so um, I, I will put that in and then I will actually slide this in and put some we use a glue gun and actually slide this in through the back because it has to fit in like that Okay, so then I'll glue it in like that. And then 
um, you put the battery in. And the reason I have wires on the back, oh, so I know this is not the most technical video, but I just done this a, a few times and it's worked great. So I have to use my right hand. Okay, so it goes in, and you can see. Now, one time, the little stem was sticking out too far, and the second hand actually got caught on the front of the glass. So I actually had to um, loosen that back up and make it stick out a little bit more in the back. But um, I've already checked this one, and it goes all the way around. And then this actually goes on the bottom, and this goes on like that, so that when it's up there, it, it tick-tocks back and forth. And the reason I have that wire back there is because if I hang this down, this hook on that lower piece, it will actually hit the ground. So I'm going to take some pliers and break this piece off and then just leave that wired piece back there so that it will go back and forth and tick tock without that plastic piece there. So the wire at this point is keeping it from going back and forth, but you can see if I get it still that it will start to tick tock back and forth. But, so you kind of have to do a little bit of surgery. Oh, it is actually stuck because I didn't screw it in all the way. So, yeah, I just took my hand off of the glass and now it's, it's going. Okay. But once you screw it in all the way, make sure that it does go all the way around it. But because I didn't tighten it and I didn't get it on there quite right, it's it's stuck a little bit. But yeah, you want before you glue it back in, you want to make sure it actually goes all the way around and that it works. And so you can see the back is tick tocking, and I will finish my little surgery. But I, since I videotape myself, I can't make that work very well. So anyway, that's kind of how you do it. It's just basically simply taking the when it's like this, you just take the hands off, then you unscrew this, take that off, the back will pop off, and you can buy different kinds of these um, at the store, but they're normally about, I don't know, $15, just depends on where you go, and the type that you want. And since I want one that swivels, this one actually also did swivel, but, um, and this hook goes on there like that. But... Um, some I've had, like I said, I've gone through several of these just different times. They they wear out. So um, and then you just stick the new one in there and tighten it up and then put the hands back on it. So you can see the hands would normally come with it. But I wanted to share with you. I actually get it from a second hand. So I get them from second hand stores. So I've been looking for one that actually had the swivel on it for a long time, um, and I found one at a second hand store. This spacer actually comes with some of them and it would it would make the back not stick out as much. So I think I'm going to put that spacer on um, under before I put the the thing through. So the spacer will go in here, right? Like this. The spacer goes here before it actually goes in the back of the clock so that it makes that little stem not stick out as much. So it gives some distance between there and there so that the second hand doesn't stick out so far. So um, I'll do that. But anyway, I found it at a second hand store, this brand new cuckoo clock. And it's probably cute for somebody. And the little bird went back and forth. But um, I don't have that kind of decor. But I do, I do like this on my dining table. And that's why I had to put this clock here because this one wasn't working. So now I can remove that clock once I get this one working. Um, and you can check out more of it on my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com. And um, I'll have finished pictures and more detailed pictures of the gluing and everything on there. So hopefully I haven't totally confused you. Just gave you, giving you some ideas of how to get a cheap one and how to paint them with Sharpie if they're the, not the color that you want and those kind of things. Thanks.